Hey everybody, we're back. This is Joshko. This is Matt Band. We're gonna do another reaction to a song that was recommended to us by a fine viewer. By a fine viewer. In fact, this fine viewer, Bonnie Von Braun, recommended two songs, and we're gonna record them both right now. So, so thank you for your suggestions. And everybody else out there, don't forget to send us your suggestions. Absolutely, it means the world to us. We always ask you to do it, and then you do. And here we are. So if you uh, make a suggestion, there's a real good chance that we'll get to it. Um, and these sound particularly good. They They're both really good. really good suggestions, and I hope we like them. I think Bonnie was reacting to our Who? Our Who song? I believe you're right. Yeah. I believe you're right. So we know she's got good taste to yes. start with, so yes. some trust there. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a Korean band called ADG7, or I'm going to probably butcher this, but I'm going to give it a try. Be kind. Ak Dan Gwang Chil. And the song is Yong Jong Jiori. <laughs> we, we've we've sat here and, and debated over the pronunciation. We're doing our best. Yong Jiong Jiori. No, it's probably not that. Yong Jong Jiori. We're trying. We're trying. You let us know if we're right or yeah. wrong. And as always, we'll be right back here on the Kaka Block. Kaka. Okay, we are back with AD GV. G AD G7. G7. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Wan Chil with Yong Jong Jiao Ri. Yong Jong Jiao Ri. I really hope I at least, I hope we're at least close enough to not be rude. We're, yeah, we're, we're doing our No, best. no, we're trying. We're, we're legit trying. Um, and this is from a performance live on the KEX. P, so. Did Bonnie tell us? Okay, this is a Korean. I was wondering what language we were trying to say. So this mm -hmm. is um, a Korean group. Yeah, I imagine probably South Korea. <laughs> probably like. a pretty safe bet, bud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well. Real quick, oh. tell us your favorite North Korean bands. Oh. And we'll re. I'm sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> I apologize, people. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, I especially apologize to the poor people of North Korea. Jeez. Okay. I mean, if if it's out there, I'd listen to it. I would love to hear their music. I mean, there's got to be some underground. Oh, I don't know. There's no telling. Probably not. But North Korea fascinates I would me I would because it is like it. the last forbidden land in the world. It's just truly forbidden. You know what I mean? Like the forbidden right. kingdom. Right. It's terrible. Other than that island where they eat people. That one's too. That's pretty forbidden. Sentinel yeah. Island. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go there. Um, okay. Well, well, we don't know that they eat people. <laughs> they they kill people. They, they okay. kill you if they, they go. We don't know if they eat you. Okay. We That's wanna, true. We, we don't want to make It's not documented right. if they... Right. The exact... You know. They will kill you. They might eat you. They might eat you. So stay away might. from Sentinel Island. Yeah. Don't go there. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. As always, we always run the spiel. We're going to do it again. If you're watching this and you haven't <laughs> liked and subscribed, I know that you're still a good person. I know that. I, I see the goodness in you. Um, and you should prove it by liking and subscribing and hitting the bell and Definitely. all that. We really appreciate it. It allows us to hang out. We get to meet <laughs> wonderful people like Bonnie Von Braun and hear wonderful music. So please Way to do go, that. Bonnie. All, all right, right, guys. Let's get into it. I'm excited about this one. <laughs> oh, I keep pushing the table. <laughs> I hope there's a. I hope there's um, subtitles. Oh yeah, I don't have any idea. All right, you ready, bud? Yeah. Young Jong Jo Ri, here on the cock and block. I like your hats. <laughs>
Okay. <clears throat> if Quentin Tarantino was South Korean oh, he and he made it. films yeah. in South Korea, these would be the girls doing all his soundtracks. You know, he hasn't announced his 10th movie yet. Maybe That's this should be it. Th this has such a... I'm trying to like... First right. I was like, it's, we need it's got a little Janis Joplin vibe going. Yeah. Or, Right, like this is this is really. We're going to reach out to Quentin and see if we'll see what we got to let him know about this. This there, would be there, great on. There is a limit. lady on this who's playing this um, sort of slide. It almost looks like a uh, cello, like an oversized like cello, a, like yeah. a sitar, a mix between a sitar and a cello. Yeah, and she's sort of got the bow. Strumming, yeah. I feel like I've seen her before. I don't hmm. know if she's the same lady that I've seen do like rock and roll covers on that instrument. Oh, but uh, oh, like by herself. Yeah, like I, I don't know if, if it's the same one. But it looks a little bit like her, and it's the same instrument. Interesting. Uh, anyways, oh. she is awesome. We'll if have it's to the check same that one. out. See if that is her. Luna or something, maybe? I might be wrong. Wouldn't that be cool? The fans will know. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> um, what do you think so far? You like it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah this is really it's cool. It's really cool. It's not metal at all. We were kind of expect. I was expecting metal, but... Well, I could rock out to this. But... This is a nice... <laughs> this is kind of refreshing. I'm digging all right. it. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> He's getting into it. Yeah. Laser focused. Yeah, he is. I feel like I should applaud. Yeah. That that reminds me of uh, like jazz. 
less yes. it's less rocky than we usually listen to. It was to. way less rocky. It was like um I don't it was just like some swinging mm-hmm. it had they were cool cats, man. It yeah. had such a cool like I, I can't I can't think of the word to describe that type of music, which is really popular here in the US in Quentin Tarantino films and I mean yeah. like Definitely. Uh, what is that? What is that vibe? That rockabilly? No, not quite. Not quite. But it, but yeah, I feel that a little bit. You know what? They they didn't have anybody's vibe. They had their vibe. The only thing I could they compare were... it to, and it was just for a second when the ladies were doing the vibrato. So, um, in American pop, vibrato is generally at the end of a phrase, like a Mariah Carey right, song, right, right, right. Is, ah, right. A little modulation after it. But yeah. in Eastern music, it's right in the it's middle. Right in the middle of yeah. every phrase. Yeah, it's very, very distinctly Eastern. The only thing Sounds I could good. compare it to that I have heard in American music is a, <laughs> kind of a strange band, but a fun band that I like a lot: the B Fifty Twos. Oh, good! Like Boy. you remember the song yeah. "Rock Lobster"? Oh, Rock Lobster! Uh, she does that. Bit wow, that's middle. a really good comparison. <laughs> You're right. That they and B fifty twos are super distinct because of that. And yeah. like the only people I can think of that really did that. They're probably think, yeah. singing about something much more serious than Rock Lobster, but who knows? We we, we don't have any idea what they're I don't saying. know if I heard <laughs> Joe Ree, but I, I definitely heard Young 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 many times. Um we were whoa. at least somewhat close on that. Or maybe we did you know, it was in there and we just but I heard Young Young it seemed like, like in the, the first line, I think. Were, were a little bit more pronounced, like yeah. oh, young, young, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, young. I liked it. It was cool. It. it was fun. I enjoy uh, exploring sounds like this. And if you haven't heard ADG Seven, check it out. And I'm gonna try to figure out if that's the same. Yeah, the same uh, player. player. Yeah, playing she was really rocking. Cool instrument. You know what was cool about this was you could pick any one of them out, and they were all kind of they were all doing something a little different. Yeah. They were all doing their own thing. They were all laser focused on their own. That girl on the steel drums, man, she was just, she came to work. Yeah. She, you know, she was doing her, her job. Uh, they were all doing something different, but it really kind of had a big, not a big band. So it was very orchestral almost because mm-hmm. there was a lot going on. It was so good. It was very good. And it was very good. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. I liked the lead singer. The mm-hmm. lady had kind of the, I don't want to say it, but like pil- Pilgrim hat ish. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. that's what yeah, we would, would equate it to. Yeah. She had a very strong voice. She had a very strong voice. And, and the rhythm of the singing was so precise. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were all, yeah, they were all very good. Especially, like you said, in that modulation or the, the vibrato, they vibrato. were all doing it exactly the same together. It was, it was, I mean, they're, they're very polished. Yeah. They're very good. They're very good. I gave that two thumbs up. Yeah. Two sure. thumbs up. Very yeah. good. One for one for Bonnie Von Braun. Bonnie. All right. So, on to number two. On to number two. Next time, here on the Cock and Block. <laughs>